Did you know you can load documents to Amazon, like PDFs, to be customer-facing? Well, last night, they made a change to the UI of where you can do this. So this is where you load these documents. But check this out. So like on this screen, I had this up last night, right? And I put my cursor over inventory. Notice how there's nothing under upload and manage videos. Scroll over to a new window, loaded this this morning, and lo and behold, manage pro product documents is a brand new UI section under the inventory dropdown. This does require you to be brand registered with Amazon. And uh, I have another account that I checked this morning where I know I loaded PDFs almost two years ago and they were not present when I looked at this section. So I'm actually wondering if any PDFs you've previous loaded have been wiped. So even if you have loaded PDFs before, you should come back in here and check this out because I see zero applied ASINs in this section. And I wonder if the way that they did this UI update was to basically take documents and attach it to the brand registry and anything that was loaded previously may have been lost as a result. So definitely go check that out. In the dropdown for document types, it's there's quite a few of them actually. Like look at the safety information, certificate of analysis, compliance, user guides. Some of these are the, the sort of things I would expect on a front end listing. So um, take this item for example. This is a very technical item. And, and an item like this, you totally need a user guide on how to use it, right? And so this is the exact sort of use case where I would load a PDF, um, which if I recall correctly, should show up somewhere in this general area. Like there should be like a button and I, tr I tried, I spent like 15 minutes trying to find uh, where these load. And I, honestly, I couldn't locate it. And this was the account I tried to locate them on, knowing that I've loaded them here more than two years ago. So in any case, uh, <clears throat> go check it out. You can see all the document types here, 2D, 3D, so many different things. The way that we used to do this before you could physically load a document is we would load like a uh, the best PDF we could as a secondary image is like a stopgap. So it's it's way better to do it this way because there's going to be higher resolution. It won't take away from one of your secondary images. And there's just so many different things like a compatibility guide. How many of you out there have a compatibility guide PDF, right? Like maybe your item is specifically meant to be compatible with Legos or a particular name brand and, and you're an accessory, right? Just so many different ways you could take advantage of this in my opinion maybe a fact sheet or safety information, maybe a size guide, you sell some clothing, a lot of different things. Oh, and check this out. They also have language translation. Now, weird, they only have English, Spanish, and Hebrew. I don't know why those three were the three selected, but there you go. Uh, so those are your options for you. And so what you would do then is pick the document type, hit the upload button, and then after uploading it, you would assign it to an ASIN which would allow it to uh, show up on the front end of Amazon for, for customers to take a look at it and view it themselves. Now, I, I do kind of suspect that some of these documents are not customer facing and some of them are. And uh, I, I honestly don't know if you would want a certificate of analysis to be public facing. So like if you're selling a supplement, you may not want all of that information public. Um, but it's worth testing out and, and, and with all new functionalities like this, you should always, you know, be cautious, test it on a, a non-important SKU, see what happens, then replicate it to your other, uh, other SKUs in the catalog. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And if you like this sort of video, we have other playlists with all kinds of tutorials on how to do things within Seller Central. I'm going to link here a video on how to navigate every location in Seller Central. Very thorough video. Hope you enjoy.